Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Stationeers. And yes, as you can tell, I have been really busy around here. I uh, just got some lights put in, uh, figured what me as well, since it always gets so dark around here, and I always have to wait till the sun comes up to start recording. I thought I'd get some, get some lights in here, but uh, I have done a few things. One of them just happens to be I installed a battery. Now, I figured this out. I figured out what was going on. So... The problem I was having before with, with uh, my power system frying like it was, was the battery basically has an unlimited input. Uh, it will take in whatever power is being supplied to it. Uh, I had solar panels and I also had a generator. Now I think the generator outputs power on demand, so uh, the more power it's asked for it, the more fuel it uses and it just generates more power. And I don't know for sure what the... Uh, actual specifications are on it. So needless to say the battery was drawing as much power as it could out of the generator and it was frying the lines. Now because I didn't have a transformer and whoever kept pestering me about it, thank you, I have got the transformer set up here, I got set to about 2000, 2000 watts. So basically what's going to happen is uh, any power that comes out of the battery will not exceed 2000 watts and that's even before this because it can't get through. So what I need to do to make sure my system doesn't fry anymore is whatever I have for a power grid, I'll get a transformer set up here. I think I might need the large transformer because I don't know what the the range is on this one here. Uh, but basically I have the transformer set to 99 kilowatts because that the uh, max on uh, the max these can handle is 100. I think they fry at 100 or fry at 101. I'm not sure, but we'll set it to 99. So no matter what, nothing, no more than 100. 99 kilowatts can go through this wire up to the battery. And then on the other side of the batteries, batteries I'll say, because it's going to be a bank of them. On the other side of the battery, I'm going to have basically a bunch of wires connecting like they are here. And then I will probably have another transformer coming off of there for, again, 99 kilowatts, going to another main bar where the 5,000, no, the smaller transformers are going which will be set to like 4900 or whatever and with a setup like that there's absolutely nothing no way anything can fry because i won't be able to draw any more power through the wires yay i figured it out okay okay that's a little excessive okay okay that's enough come on i just figured out how to do some basic wiring i didn't win the nobel prize or anything but anyways, I want to start getting a little bit of automation going. One of the things I want to do is start getting to stackers and even the vending machine. Because I want to try the, try the vending machine as a possible idea for uh, fueling the furnace. Because I've tried with the gases and I think one of the problems I had is I think I was actually going into the, the output. The, yeah, the output's up top and the input's on the bottom. I think I was feeding into the top. So maybe that's why I wasn't working on the gas mixture. But... I haven't, I'm thinking about using the vending machine now. I don't know exactly how the vending machine works. I think uh, you should be able to choose how many of each item you want. I know there's uh, holds 100 stacks and has a, a panel that allows you to choose what you want. But I don't know if it gives you stacks or some individual items. But that's something I want to get into. But before we do that, we need to start researching, uh, start researching those yellow capsules. Now, the yellow capsules require astrology. Astrology is an alloy made of, I'll have to check the wiki on this, but I believe it's two parts, two parts cobalt, one part iron, which is in one of the other mining packs. Yeah, I made four more mining belts and I went a whole bunch of mining iron, copper, gold, silver, lead. Yeah, I grabbed everything, even some nickel, not that I need it right now, but I'll need it eventually. Uh, but yeah, so it's uh, two parts cobalt, one part iron, one part copper, I do believe, and I'll have to double check this. Uh, the problem with that is we can't make it in that, that furnace. We have to get the advanced furnace. Now, the advanced furnace, we have to research. Oh, no, we don't have to research. Uh, the advanced furnace we've got to make in the, in, yeah, the Mark II elect electronics printer. Now, the electron Mark II electronics printer has to be upgraded from... This thing right here, the Mark 1. I. I need to make a mod for it. Now, I don't actually have the mod for it, but I have noticed that there is a mod in here for the auto lathe. We'll go all the way up to the top. Uh, what's in here? Was it not? Oh, wrong machine. 
over here. And I don't think you can actually make this in uh, the fabricator because I've already checked. And yeah, I did have to make the fabricator. I needed uh, filters. Yeah. I needed filters. And so yeah, I built that. We needed it anyways. So yeah, I can make the auto, auto lathe mod here, which upgrades this to a Mark II, which I think should be able to produce the electronics printer mod. But we need to make some alloys. Now, I've gone ahead and made the steel already because, you know, I got the batteries. I got some steel in there right now. Uh, electrum and solder. Now, electrum is one gold to one silver. That's what the gold and silver is for. And then the solder was lead and iron, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Uh, they are relatively low temperature, but I don't think that really matters. And it's good time. The good thing it's nighttime, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make this off camera. I'll probably make, I'll probably make a stack of, stack of each, I guess. Should have plenty of iron. Uh, I got to do some inventory management. So let me get this all smelted up and then I'll bring you back. Okay, I'm back. I did have to mess around with this a little bit. Uh, I think I'm gonna, definitely going to have to get some sort of uh, uh, digital valve. I had to get a little bit of a pressure release there because uh, I had the right temp temperature but I had way too much pressure so anyways uh, so I need to make the mod in here let's uh, get rid of those frames because I don't know why that ended up in there I think it was because I was printing stuff and it just shot right in there okay so what do we need here we need iron and steel which is all in here turn the computer off we don't need it on right now not that it matters I get my sun from my power from the sun why do I have road flares on me? Uh, hmm. Insert. There we go. Okay. Gold. Not that I need it. And then iron. I think that was iron. Steel. One of the two. Yeah, that was steel. Give me that. Okay. Oh. Mouse is all over the place there. Go ahead and build one of these. And I think this helps me upgrade this. Even though I have to upgrade the auto lathe with this. Okay, give me that. Now, from what I've read, I'm supposed to have a welding tool in the other hand. I'll grab our welder. Oh. And there we go. Now we have the Mark II. Uh. Hang on, let me put the welding torch away so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Okay, and, and by the looks of it, we have to use the computer for this. Oh! Well, isn't this something? There's the electronic printer mod. Cool. That's cool. Alright, what do I need for this? Uh, everything I had in the other machine. Okay, let me finish this up and I'll bring you back when we're gonna watch my <laughs> lead and electron roll away. But I'll be back. Okay, here we go. So this is the electronics printer Mark II. Mark II. Um, yes, jump for Julie on this one. And put my tools away properly. So now, in here, I'm going to search and see what else we have in here. See if there's any new stuff. Uh, nothing new. I do want to get one of these going eventually. Uh, those will come in so much, ha so handy. Uh, as you can see, there's a mod for the pipe bender too, and for the tool printer. But it's called a tool manufacturer, as far as I know. There it is, advanced furnace. Now, this is not going to be cheap. Five gold, twenty-five k. I'll be damned, I actually have enough to make this. I actually have the silicone. So, yeah, let me load this up and I'll be right back. Actually, let's try something here. Uh, the reason why I had the frames in there is because when this ejects, it was shooting right into there. So let's see if... No, I was hoping it was going to make it all the way in. It's not big enough. Oh well. Anyway. Doesn't take us long to do this. Now, I have never actually seen this thing, used it, I don't know if it's going to be the same sort of deal. I need more steel. Hmm. Oh, look at that. 
got little fans even though it's in no atmosphere right now. It's kind of funny. Uh, still going I can make. So I gotta make a batch of steel. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, it's almost done. Actually, it is done now. Uh, so I looked into the astrology. Uh, it actually requires... What was it like? Five to six thousand kilopascals on pressure. And it was supposed to be like really high on the temperature too. So let's have a look at this thing. It... Got power, does it? Let's see what we got here. Okay, there's our gases. Alright, outputs on the bottom, inputs on the top. And I think... I think I hit the wrong button. That's what I want. Is it? I have no idea. I'm sorry. Uh, let's play see what we got here. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, let me get some power to this thing and see what's going on. Okay, we got power. So what is this? Okay, activate. And... Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's see what we can do here. So it was it was actually two parts iron, one part cobalt, one part uh, copper. So let us try with the iron first. I think I find some iron. One of these belts. Okay, so let's try. Let's try putting my tools away first. There we go. All right. Uh, split one. In you go. What are you doing? Do I actually have to activate this? I think I do. Okay. Uh, let's try something here. Let's purge it. Take that out. And that means I have to go hide in the, the shade again, so... I'll be back. Okay, let's try this. In fact, something I want to try, and I didn't realize this. You can actually open open up the stack menu in there. Well, it's, it's still in there. Oh, and it evaporated right away. Let's try it this way. Uh, yeah. And that should still be there. I didn't even make it in. Okay, that's what I thought. So I do have to force it in. Hmm. Interesting. What's going on here? Apparently flashing error. Hmm. I'm gonna have to investigate this. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and I'm done. And uh, needless to say, it's a couple of days later. Uh, that was not easy, as you can tell by the wall here. Uh, so this was uh, a little tricky to figure out because um, it's not the standard furnace where we just fire it up and it's good to go for just about anything that goes in there. Uh, this one here, because I was dealing with a specific temperature and pressure range, um, it was a little tricky to work out and basically what I had to do is I had to fire it up with the two volatile and one oxide to get it to start up and then I had to wait for it to back off a little bit, add a, one more piece of volatile and then it would, pressure would go up, temperature would go up and then I'd have to fall it back, uh, let it fall back down. Uh, if you, I put it in too fast and you can see the pressure starts to build up and I was getting to like 13, uh, 13 millipascals like super high pressure too high of a pressure so i tried setting up a passive vent with uh, a valve pressure regulator um a volume pump different things to try to avoid the pressure out of here it wasn't, it's not coming out for some reason i think maybe it's one of those things that needs to be needs to be data controlled and that's one thing i think of uh, another one too i found out um it actually has to be dark outside 
dark out for me to actually put ice in here because it evaporates while it's still in the chamber. Uh, that one over there, I never had a problem with that, but I put it in here, even though it would actually go inside into the input and into the machine, you would actually see it evaporate, so it wasn't wasn't working. But needless to say, I ended up making 208 because it was a pain in the ass, and I don't want to have to do this for a while, at least until I get things properly automated. Uh, might be a while for that, but needless to say, I can actually go ahead and print what I need. Um, I think I have to print everything in here. I did add a bit of a platform up there while I was waiting, doing other things. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we can actually make these research capsules in here. I don't think I can. I think I have to make these in the, uh, the electronics printer, which is there. It'd be nice if there's a search on this, but there is not. There's a lot of things. It's just so much. And it does not look like it. So then that means I have to avoid this, get everything in here, and print it up. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I'm just waiting for the last little bit of the copper to go through. I only had three grams left. And I was wrong, wrong about the, the alloy. It's not astrology, it's astroloy, which makes more sense. Uh, so what I've done is I actually noticed that this will sh the furnace will shoot right into the, the auto lathe, and the auto lathe will actually shoot right into the uh, the printer. So I want to see if I can get a daisy chain its way through. Not quite. That was by the shop. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and put that in there. So I've looked at the research, what we got to do for things that I want right now. I'm going to need two of the yellows. So we'll go ahead and print two of those. And then what I want to do is I want to get the vending machine and I also want to get the stacker. Now the The vending machine is behind basic storage, so we have to do the container and container mount, which I was going to do anyways, because I got containers, I got a plate, I need a place to put them. And, oh, one more, I'm actually wondering if these things stack. Okay, we'll stop that, turn you off. Oh, they do, okay. Okay, we'll do that. Put those in, and those, and now I got to process everything. So... Do I do that? Is that going to do all of them at the same time or one at a time? Not 100% sure. Uh, let's see. Because it's doing the red capsules first. And by the looks of it. The reds not go in. Oh, it's only take one at a time. Ah, oh, it does it automatically. Anyway, I'm gonna let this research and I'll be right back. Oh, okay, almost done. Uh, the red ones actually went a lot faster than the yellow ones. Surprise, surprise. So what I want to do is I want to get advanced delivery system because that's for the sorter and the stacker, the stacker especially. So we'll unlock that. And then it was under production. No, it wasn't. It was under uh, tools. Uh, I want basic storage which gets us crates and container mounts. And then the advanced storage is for the vending machine. And so we'll do that and confirm that. Wow, they really make you work for those nuclear cells, huh? Speaking of which, I did find some uranium out there somewhere. I have no idea where it is. I can't remember, but I'll find it eventually. How, how hard could it be to find a big green glowing patch, right? Uh, so, uh, let's see here. I guess we're going to go right over here, which means i got to put everything back over to this machine. Uh, yeah, that's going to be fun. But that means I should be able to make stackers and vending machines. Let's see, there is... There's a stacker, and there is the vending machine. Now, what does the vending machine require? A lot of electrum. I don't know how much I have. I know, they're actually expensive. I have enough to make one, hmm. which means I have to make more gold and uh, get more gold and silver. I think I have enough. So uh, it is getting dark. I'm gonna print up a couple of things and I'll bring you back and we'll, I guess we'll start moving some stuff up up there. Get a little bit of basic or automation going. I'm gonna see if I can work something out with that furnace. Okay, I'm back. So I ended up doing a, a little bit of automation. I might end up moving stuff up there eventually. Uh, I have gone ahead and made a whole bunch of cables, so I've got plenty of wire. 
Uh, as you can see, I've also made a uh, ground penetrating radar. I got my ore scanner with me, and I have an auto miner. Uh, I did go ahead and research the, the color scanner or the color ore scanner cartridge. Well, that's gonna keep on. I gotta stop this. I don't need this much cable. I forgot this is endless. Um, but I need to make uh, Constantin and Invar alloys. Now, Invar I know is uh, iron and nickel. Constantin I think was copper and iron. I think I'm not 100 percent sure. But anyways, I do have uh, this set up. I took me a little while to figure out how this actually works. I forgot about the, the scanner or the, the channel. So we'll go ahead and turn this on, and then we'll go ahead and turn this on. And then we'll go ahead and click, and I don't think there's actually anything here, but we'll find out. Okay, and get these up, see if uh, what's going on here. Okay, activate. Okay, so there is something down below me. I have absolutely no idea what it is. Uh, I think this might have been that gold deposit I was at. Now, I don't know what the... I'm guessing the red is letting me know where I've activated the scan. That's what I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, so there is something here. Let's uh, turn this off and I'm gonna turn this off. We get some light going so we can actually see what we're doing. And I actually want to place this down and see what it. Well, I know what it is. I've seen it before, but I want to figure out what we can do for like where stuff comes out, how it gets automated. And I'm wondering if I can get it going right to a smelter. I have no idea. But let's do that. Okay, what do I need? Welding torch and electronic parts. Well, it's getting dark. Let me uh, pass the night away. I'll get everything ready and then uh, we'll finish building this. Okay, I'm back. I decided to go on a bit of a mining run, get some more gold because I actually want to try out this vending machine. Uh, and what I've done is I've also set up another um, let me get a free hand. I set up another transformer over here. That's going to go up to here. I'll probably leave this stuff down here for now, but it's always good to have extra power sources. Oh, yeah, you're not actually going to turn on until there's actually a power draw. Anyway, uh, let's go up here and let's uh, get this finished up. Do I have inventory space? No, I don't. Surprise, surprise. Um, hmm. uh, oh, that's... Uh, Okay, this actually might be interesting. Uh, let me actually place these down here for now. Get them out of the way and uh, take electronic components. I'm going to take my welder and let's finish this up. Okay, what else do I need? Iron sheets. I don't have any iron sheets. I got to make a few. And does this tell me how many I need? I do not know. I'll find out. Alright, I made four, so it should be enough. I hope it is. Let's find out. And steel sheets. Ooh, okay. So I guess I gotta make a few steel sheets then. Okay, I am back with the steel sheets. Now hopefully this is enough. No, I need one more. Okay, let's try this again. Go over here, turn that on, and... We are done. Get that out. Let's have a look at this thing here. Okay, so let's uh, have our vending machine here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get stuff going right into the, the vending machine for now. And then I'll just take it out in stacks when I need to process it. Is that in the right spot? No, probably not. There we go. Alright, so... Probably don't need it, but I'm gonna put a chute there anyways. I've had uh, had some issues with ingots getting stuck in the chutes, so yeah, I don't know if this is gonna be a problem or not. Maybe I should go with a conveyor. You know what? I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go with a conveyor. Okay, here we are. So now, uh, let's see here. Oh, well, since I got the power here, I'm gonna put that here. Because we can always uh, switch directions. Okay, now uh, power cables. So this is why I got the junction down there, and hopefully this is. Well, I know it's going to be enough. So it is getting dark. Let me get this all wired up, and I'll bring you back when we're ready to get this thing up and running. 
And with the rise of the morning sun, I am done. Everything's ready to go. Now everything's all wired up. Uh, I decided to go over the conveyor with the, the power cable just so I'm not tripping over it all the time. Uh, so let's have a look at this uh, vending machine first. We'll turn that on. We'll turn uh, the conveyor on. Okay. So let's have a look. Uh, nothing to vend. Uh, because there is nothing in there. Alright. Well, there will be in a minute. Because we will go ahead and turn that on. Let me go hit the big green button. Now, I've seen this in uh, like the little Steam Workshop. Or the, the store page. But it was like an animation, so... Let's go investigate, shall we? I know there's something down here, I have no idea what it is. I think it might be that gold. It does a pretty big area. It does a lot faster than I can. Let's see if we actually find anything in there. Now the question is, how far down does it go? Does it go all the way down to the proverbial bedrock, or or what? Uh, I do know there, like I said, I do know there's something down there, but I haven't made the color scanner yet, so I don't actually know what it is. But I think it might be that gold deposit that I had there. Oh, got some ice. Okay, did we actually get any ice in here? No, we didn't. Hmm. Best thing is it's modular too. If I don't find anything here, I'll just move it over there, and maybe get a, con a line of conveyors going or something. This is actually really fast. Probably uses a whole ton of power though. But, uh, I'm gonna let this go for a few minutes. See if we pick anything up, and I'll bring it back. Okay, well, it did its thing, and it missed absolutely everything on the way down. But it did make it down to bedrock. So that wasn't too bad. Uh, I know I didn't get anything because there is absolutely nothing in the vending machine. So I think what I'm going to do. Oh, it did get something. What did you get? What did you get? Got some coal, some ore, or some coal and nickel. Uh, let's see how much it actually gave me. Two. Okay, so I'm guessing it's going to auto stack because I, I was going to put a stack around here, but apparently I didn't need it. So, okay, that's interesting. So I was using the scanner, and apparently there is something over here, apparently. Uh, do this. Uh, it says it can be used in, in your inventory. I don't know if it can be actually used in my backpack or if it just has to be in my hand. But go ahead and turn that on, turn that on, activate that. And you see there's something right here. I'll probably move it over here, and we'll have a, see, have a look and see what we have. So, I shall return. Okay, I'm back. So, I had to move it again. Uh, needless to say, I missed everything, so it is doing its thing. Uh, it is working. It wasn't working with the conveyors for some reason, so I put the chute on it. It seems to work. Uh, the problem is, though, is it's not actually stacking in the machines. Okay, gold ore, gold ore, gold ore, gold ore. If I go and invent that... That'll give me a three. I go ahead and do that, and it'll give me a th three. I have thought about running it through a stacker first, but it's I'm getting like three different, two or three different things at a time, so a stacker might not work too well, just because it's going to get jammed up. So I'd have to sit there and constantly clear out the stacker. So I'll probably do this for now, and then maybe maybe we'll end up getting a shoot or something and have that go into a stacker so I can select all the copper and have it come out of stacks of 50 and then go through and then get the oxide which is in here somewhere yeah anyways I think I'm going to leave that one here I'll probably do a bit of scouting after, between now and the next episode and then maybe we'll do some offshore short off base mining and uh, definitely get a, a, a solar farm up and running since I got stackers so I can get stuff mass produced at a reasonable level but anyways i thank you all so much for watching hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like and as always i'll see you in the next one later it's a long way down